What's happening guys, Alexandri here bringing you the next part of the Twilight Princess Let's Play! So let's go as it were and look at a guy's afro with a bird's nest on top. Yes, you are a crazy travelling merchant, selling oil every day, flying away. Interesting. Anyway, uh, we were heading this way, chasing the monkey last episode, so I'm going to get back on Epona and keep going with the chase, so to say. But of course, that area is gated so it doesn't look like we're going that way so we'll check the other fork and that's covered by a big boulder man what I do for bombs right now um oh yeah just about up here just remember the sign said two different split ways and the fact that you can only go one way if you have the lantern but of course we've got that now we've earned that and Poe won't travel any further because there is a Deku Barber on the floor Okay, and the Deku Baba's head drops off, okay. And we get Deku seeds from them for our slingshot, a full 50 of them, so we'll never run out of that ever. You found a play wooden sword, so we're heading the right way, it's Talos. Let's go. Chasing down the mysterious monkey. We're finding enemies now out here, so that's going to be interesting as well. Oh, bats! The kid came through here? Maybe Blue and didn't. So, so, Deep Baba! Get down. Ah, I saw that lantern. No, that's not a lantern! What the hell am I imagining? But I can burn the west web with it, so it wasn't such a big loss to take it out. Is there something down there? There's something there, isn't there? Right there. Killing it with a slingshot. Smashing some pots as well. Usually slingshots don't really kill much. They only kill like small creatures, like bats. Wouldn't think they'd kill whatever that was, but got out, got it out of the way before we even went that way, so that's always a good thing. Uh, put it away! Put, put the lantern away! I don't need the lantern out, because I'm going to waste loads of... Waste loads of oil. And the oil runs out pretty fast. Gosh, bat. Well, there's enemies everywhere in this game. Okay, we got a, another torch and a treasure chest for our troubles. Always nice. 10 rupees, thank you, sir. Saving up a nice little trust fund, so to say. Smash these, pick up some more cash. Missed, I don't know how. I really do not know how. And head on. Lots of crazy Wii Remote noises today as well, and we found the exit. Oh, I really should have put away my torch, thinking about it. Really should remember to put it away and not use oil. So, where are we at now? Outside of Farron Woods, it's looking very misty. And there's some kind of Bacoblin like creature. I'm guessing it probably is still a Bacoblin. I mean, enemies usually are recurring. For example, the bats, the keys, the Deku Babas. Randomly high up place. Can I jump on those platforms? Doesn't look like it, to be honest. Nope, not at all. Okay, back, you're going down. You're scouting this place out. Ah, randomly in the bushes. I gotta watch out for them then. There we go. Some bats again. Quick spin attack to deal with the bats as well. Everyone's dropping money for me. It's just like everywhere. Rupees, rupees, rupees. And there seems to be a crazily large amount of combat so far. I guess Skyward Sword spaced out the enemies in a way because... Uh, oh my god, yeah, more enemies! Because it was more about the quality of the enemy rather than the quantity of. The, the strategy for dealing with it, so every enemy felt like a little mini-game. Feels like I'm being chucked loads of enemies at. Oh! Okay, I didn't exactly think that was a puzzle. I just saw torches and thought, yeah, let's light them. That makes sense. Well, a key. This key opens the gate to Farron Woods. So somewhere deeper within Farron Woods, because I thought we were currently in Farron Woods. Let's find out what the big treasure chest is. 
Ah, you got a piece of heart. Collect five pieces to form a new heart container and increase your life energy. Five pieces. So considering the fact that we start on three hearts anyway, that means there's going to be a hell of a lot of heart pieces in this game. My god, there's probably going to be an absolute billion. Oh, hello, Bokoblin. Calling you Bokoblin until we find out what you're called. Until then, you're just going to be named that. That's just how you're going to be known. I don't care if you've got an actual name. You're from now on Bokoblin, man. Oh, you're not going to get me back by me. I really should change the screenshot. I'll stop using the uh, land. So much combat. Stab, stab, slice, slice in the face. Come here. Slingshot, get a nice ping on him. Knock him back with the slingshot. All's good. And get our DQ seeds back. No problemo. Hello, guys. Guarding an obvious door. Lovely jubbly. Keep you both down. We've got a sign here. Five rupees. Thank you. Am I being chased by a bokoblin behind me here? Forest temple ahead. Got enough lantern oil? If not, stop at trills. Yeah, you are coming up by me, aren't you? Sorted out. And you dropped five rupees as well, which makes me, of course, chase after you. Money makes the world go round. So we've got a locked door. Key open that. That's cool. Storm, storm the castle gate, so to say. And head on. Where will it lead? We'll never know. Round and round and round we go, but we've got another encounter. There is a lot of enemies in this game. Oh, trying to do a spin attack, failing miserably. There we go. Nice slice of the face and a jumping attack. Sorts out anyone. What are we heading next? Another Bokoblin? Oh, I missed completely, but he didn't notice me anyway. So the jumping attack doesn't actually do extra damage. It might be because I'm using a wooden sword, but it still takes four hits to get them. So three more, including the jumping attack. Woo, hey, woo, you're super. Now just buy something, hey? I don't need to buy anything from you. What have you got for sale? Welcome, hey, buy something, anything. So what's this? Our collection box. So it's a shop away from home. A shop far, far away. I don't think we need anything. There's oil and red potion, I'd imagine. I guess that's what they were, if anything. Let's cut some grass. It's the Legend of Zelda pastime. Oh, Deku Baba and a chest as well. It got a hit on us, but oh well, what can you do? Ten rupees for your trouble is fine by me. It's like compensation for a lawsuit or something. Oh, here we go. It's the kid, Tallow, and a monkey in a cage. So you've obviously been kidnapped and are probably being stored to be eaten. As most monsters in woods would do. Grind your bones for bread. Backflip! Backflip! Oh, skills. No problem. Anyone gets you kidnapped, call me. Sort things out, no problem at all. So how do I get you out then, kid? Hell, let me out of it, please! Do I just bust it down? Busting it down. Spin attack, there we go. Of course the spin attack would have went through then, but we'll just ignore that. So we saved Tallow and the monkey. Wasn't the whole quest to fight to get, to get the monkey, but oh well. If you hadn't come, Ollis, gee, me and that monkey would have gone eaten, probably. She's actually a pretty nice girl, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Hmm, Ollis, you're not going to mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest. Because he says it's dangerous. Well, listen to your dad. So you really can't tell him? Really? You have to promise. And then he runs off without me promising. Oh, it is. Oops, is that his dad? 
My son told me Tallow disappeared into the woods and I had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologise. Such a task should not fall to you. No worries, I'm, I'm the hero. The chosen hero. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Ollis, tomorrow's finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I think it's a good thing I've given this task to you. <laughs> good luck, and return safely. If you were lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda! <laughs> Man, I'm Link. I'm destined to meet Princess Zelda. As we found out in Skyward Sword. Ordon Ranch. Am I having to do chores or something? The day in the life of Link seems to be the first hour of this game so far. Hey, Ollis! He lives a sleepy little life in a village away from. far away, far, far away from danger. It's almost time for you to get going, Ollis. Well, not exactly that far away from danger. There's danger on the outskirts, thinking about it, considering what we just went through. There were so many monsters. So how's about we finish up early today, bud? Uh, are we... Are we goat herding? Is that what... Oh, Pen was just over there. I could have walked, I guess, but being lazy suits me. Okay, goat herding. Okay, then, let's get started. You did mean goat herding, then. There's loads more goats in the field, isn't there, though? My god, how many goats do you want me to herd? Let's go take the outskirts first. Bring you more into the center of the lot of you. Let's get so many goats in one swoop. It's five at least then. I probably don't want to come up the middle like that because I'm probably just going to separate them all, but that goat don't want to move. Oi! Oi! Get over there. How did two goats run and the other two are... That goat legged it in! There's different kind of goat personalities, you could say. There's procrastinator goat, really doesn't want to go in. And then there's absolutely scared crapless goat, will just go. Well, that goat just slipped past me. Maybe I shouldn't try to herd so many. Oops, I just scattered them completely. That was not a good idea. Oi, oi. Come on, goats. Don't go back into the middle. You get. Just go in. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be goat herding. I want to be out there adventuring, exploring the world. That's what Link does. I love how that guy runs away. Why can't he just chase after some goats himself? With help. You can be my sheep dog. Goat dog. Whatever. Oh my god, I wish some of these just stopped reacting so severely. They react even though they're the ones you're not even interested in. And that guy's going to go in, isn't he? Oh no, he just walked past him. Antisocial goat, come back. Come back, goat. Get in the pen. Thank you. This is taking some time. Let's go, goatee. You go that way. I'll catch these two, pull them nearer as well. Except if they're facing the wrong way, their initial thing is to go forward. Which is actually really irritating. I mean, you want them to turn around on a dime and then go towards the goat, goat shed and they just don't. Get in there! 20 out of 20 done. That was a long time goat herding. Oh boy, we all can hear that was... 38 seconds faster than usual. Okay, cool. Well, that about wraps her up for today, so how's about you'll head on over to the mayor's place? I wonder if that's some kind of mini game I can earn something from. Is there anything actually in there? Nope. Nothing at all. Go over the fence there, Epona. Head off and see the mayor. Got some kind of cutscene bit here. There's Link moseying on down into town. Yeehaw! I'm from the old west. And my childhood friend, who always seems very excited to see me. 
What on earth is your moustache, man? That looks like someone's literally taken something and rammed it into your face. Like a croissant. He's got a croissant rammed into his face. Oh, don't hurt him for the day, Ollers. Oh, nice work. The royal gift Russell told you about is ready, so you should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now, the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. It'd be bad if the representative of Ordon were to be late for such an occasion. You get me, lad? The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse, but please bear Ollers along <laughs> safely. It's my horse, come on. Wait, what's this? What's up? What's happened? She's injured, isn't she? <laughs> oh, this, how could you? You're pushing a pony too hard again. I bet you heard her leg jumping fences, didn't you? Now, now, Ilya, there's no need to get so hot with him. Father! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor, you should start acting like one. Whoa, under the thumb. You poor thing. <laughs> they seem to have a conspiratorial glance at each other. It'll be alright, opponent. I'll take you to the forest spring right now. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll feel better in no time. Uh, yeah, I need that. Well, wait, Ilya! Why, I've had a pona. The gift won't get delivered in time. Oh, this won't do. It's going down then. It's going down, sir. What's the father to do? There's no way you'll be able to deliver our town's gift without a pona. Whoa, a goat got loose. What's going on? It's heading for town. Somebody stop it. I will stop it. Uh, yeah, pressing A at a random dime as the option just randomly appears on the screen. He took that thing down though. Sorry about that, others, but thanks to you that goat didn't get away. Well, you better get going and figure out what you're going to do about a pona. Maybe you can head up to where Ellie is and see if she won't give your horse back. Ah, all the way there. But don't worry, we have the Legend of Zelda's special spinning ability. If you spin, you'll win. Rolling for days is what Zelda's about. If you want to get somewhere fast, roll. Ah, Ollis, Are you going to see Ilya? Maybe it's just me, but those guys don't normally let people through. Hmm, Ollis, you think, you think we can go to see Ilya together? Sure, mate. But we have some exploration to do first. If you remember, the basement was completely and utterly pitch black. Of course, we've got the lantern now, so that's not an issue for us. So, yeah, I didn't explore it normally because I was worried about the fact that there might be some random pitfalls in his basement, which kind of sounds odd if you think about it. Oh, I can't just jump off. There we go. The usual roll at the bottom of the ladder sorts things out. No problemo. And there we go. There's no pitfalls, but there is a treasure chest. Will this give us another heart piece? A purple rupee. 50. You'd completely forgotten it. Hey, not bad, not bad. Put it away and let's head up. No quick up, so it'd be a little bit, but we've got one, two, three rupees. Why do I have to sound so excited about the amount of cash I've got? I'm not sure. But let's go, see if those guys will let us pass. We need to get in some more fighting. I should have checked if there was a spider on this ladder first. I really got to make sure I check. Just in case it randomly respawns and I get clogged again like I did last time. So what's up, kids? Not that you could really stop me if you wanted to. Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, Wallace? Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. I was just telling Mallow here about how we wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow? Oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by a dad something awful. I thought it was never going to end. I bet you're trying to go see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat. Oh, let me borrow that wooden sword. If I'd had that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled it all alone. Definitely. Come on, let me borrow that wooden sword right now. I'm guessing this is the way we get past them. Sure thing, I guess. Whoa, yes! With this thing, I'll show him. Don't you go go and getting yourself into trouble again. 
Are you going to practice? Okay, that's fine. All is. Thanks. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. When I grow up, I'm going to be just like you, Wallace. I don't want to learn about swords or anything. But could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. So we're going to leave those kids behind then? And head off on our adventure. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. Next episode, we'll be hopefully heading out to Hyrule Castle on our horse. Getting it up and all that jazz. So guys, thank you for watching. Stick around for the rest of the series. Cheers. I'll see you around.